This is part two to the baby Brianna story. Later that day, Andy sodomized Brianna with his fingers doing a diaper change. This was nothing new. He regularly sodomized baby Brianna with various foreign objects. Several days later, Stephanie finally called 911 for help. Brianna was in obvious distress for 24 hours by this point. She told the 911 operator that Brianna had fallen off the high chair. Sadly, baby Brianna was rushed to the hospital and was later pronounced deceased at 11.10 a.m. She was five months old and the doctors were horrified by what they saw when Brianna arrived to the hospital. Literally covered from head to toe in bruises, baby Brianna has suffered fresh and old injuries including bleeding in her brain, broken ribs, broken legs, broken arms, laceration on her fingers, laceration on her private areas, and many others. She had been abused every single day of her life after leaving the hospital five months earlier. Lee searched the home but didn't find one single toy or picture of baby Brianna smiling. No evidence of Brianna ever feeling loved or happiness in her short life. Grandparents and other relatives knew that the threesome abused baby Brianna but ignored the abuse knowing her father and uncle had raped her. They saw the bruises on her body, but remained silent. Brianna died because her tiny little body could not handle any more abuse. Sadly, laws in place at the time of Brianna's unaliving, maximum sentence of only 18 years behind bars for the charges of intentional abuse resulting in unaliving. Stephanie Lopez was convicted of negligent child abuse and sentenced to less than 15 years in prison. Andy and Stephen both received the maximum sentence by law. All three have been released from prison. Grandparents and other relatives received 30 days in jail for not reporting the abuse. Had anyone spoken up, baby Brianna's life could have been saved. One of Brianna's family members came forward to claim her body. They refused to pay for her casket or burial. Outraged by the death of subsequent acts, the community rallied together and claimed the body and paid for the funeral, casket, and proper burial for the baby. In 2005, Senate Bill 166, also called the Baby Brianna Bill, was signed into effect by Governor Bill Richardson, making child abuse that results in unaliving a first-degree felony in New Mexico with a mandatory minimum sentence of 30 years in prison. Guys, this is a Photoshop of Brianna. And what I mean Photoshop was I mean some of her scarring and lacerations were taken out, but she was way worse than this. And that's the story of baby Brianna. I'm doing this to bring awareness to her story. Take care, guys. See you on my next one.